What's up, YouTubers? Charles here. Um, this is gonna be my first uh, video for my channel. Um, I'm gonna be logging all of my fitness journey. Um, I actually missed out. Uh, I started working out in December 1st. It's uh, December 30th, and I've been working out for 30 days now. Um, I wanted to give a, I guess, a review log of what I've been using. Um, Long story short, I think it was in November, right around my birthday, November 17th, um, I started, you know, I browse YouTube all the time and I ran into Enhanced Athlete. I started watching Tony Huge's videos. Um, I'd like to shout out uh, Enhanced Athlete, More Plates, More Dates, Russo, and uh, New Roids. Uh, I started watching all their videos. I probably made it through half of their entire playlist from their channels. They have tons and tons of videos and uh, just unbelievable knowledge on how to get in shape. Um, I started off at 235 pounds. I'm currently 211 pounds. Um, I haven't got blood work done. Um, I don't know my, back, my body fat percentage. I'm not like a fitness freak, I'm just a normal guy. Um, I'm a normal guy who wants to get back in shape and I just, you know, want to look fit. Yeah, I'm more aesthetics and um, I don't really care about my, you know, I don't compete, I don't go into competitions or anything crazy like that. Um, there's another guy online, his name is uh, Bread and Butter, um, his, his YouTube channel. Um, I follow him too, he's a normal guy, he seems like a normal guy like me, I don't know if he does competitions, but I definitely don't. Um, but I wanted to get back in shape and I ran into their channel and uh, it got me to wanting to work out. Um, after watching tons and tons of video from Tony Huge on Enhanced Athlete, um, I, wanted, I wanted to research um, the effects of IGF LR3 in my Spider Monkey and started using it um, for testing on December 1st. Um, along with having a diet, I have a dedicated diet. Um, thanks to More Place, More Dates, um, using his uh, calorie deficit calculator system um, and not crash dieting where you cut a bunch of calories and kill your metabolism, which I actually did. Um, I follow his regimen now. Um, I'm currently eating about 25 to 2600 calories and making steady progress down, you know, to bring my weight down. Um, but I started the LR3 testing in January. Um, total, I've lost about 24 pounds, or have recorded weight loss of about 24 pounds. And that was in a three week period. Um, long story short, I, I actually switched after two weeks to IGF deaths um, based on the studies provided. Um, IGF deaths has less risk of side effects. Um, you know, G, uh, IGF, the extended, distended gut, and um, those type of side effects. Um, also, it's more potent, even though it lasts a shorter amount of time, um, but it, you also don't get desensitization. Um, I can say for both, the uh, the pumps are okay, you get, you get a good pump. I used to take um, Agnetine, which you can get from any local over-the-counter vitamin shop, and that that supplement for pumps is awesome. Um, most supplements are kind of relative. Some people have um, good results, some people don't. But personally, Agmatine, um, everybody that I've referred to use it has had great response to it. I had personal great response to it. It just unbelievable pump. If you do any kind of super setting when you lift weights, you just swell up like crazy. Uh, muscles are stiff and uh, it helps you break through your uh, your fatigue um, when you're lifting. So if you usually fail and you can't lift anymore, it helps you to continue to drive even though you're fully fatigued. Um, just it's, a, it's an awesome supplement and everybody um, I refer to uh, actually liked it also. Um, what else? So, off track. Uh, December 30th, uh, I'm at the end of my testing for the IGF, and 
from an enhanced athlete, it is awesome. Um, it's a great product. I have the I have the vial in the fridge. Um, I should have brought it uh, to show, but I'm not affiliated with an enhanced athlete or Tony Huge in any way. Uh, if you want a discount, you're gonna have to go to more plates, more dates. Uh, check out his YouTube channel or Russo. Um, and they have like affiliate links with uh, coupon codes. Um, I'm not affiliated, but I, I tried it. Uh, but something is great for weight loss. Um, if you have a decent diet, you're gonna get great results, uh, good results. I mean, anything with a diet, as long as you're dieting, you're gonna get results, but you throw that in the mix um, for fat burning and uh, nutrient partitioning, I mean, it just it just starts to melt away. Um, I actually didn't even realize I was losing weight. I started off at 235, and in two weeks, I had dropped over 15 pounds, and I actually thought the scale that I got was broken um, when I bought it. Uh, I actually took one of my dumbbells, my 25-pound dumbbells, um, and put it on the scale to test it because I didn't believe I lost 15 pounds in two weeks. Um, I wasn't trying to diet heavy. Um, it just... I don't know what happened though. I, all I can say is that the LR3, the IGF, it works. If you have like a, a fair diet, I was, I think I was like three, you know, I don't try to, uh, I try to stay within a certain amount of calories, but I don't like, specifically count calories. But I think I was between three and 500 deficit of a 3000 calorie diet. So I would get between 2,500 to 2,800 calories um, in a day. Um, and I, I do, uh, half an hour to an hour of uh, heavy heavy weightlifting um, in my day, bench pressing, shoulders. Um, I usually do, do two muscle groups in a day. And yeah, uh, I wasn't trying to lose weight that radically, but I lost a bunch of weight. Uh, so 25 pounds in, in this December. Coming January, I'm gonna be posting a log of uh, my next cycle, uh, I'm getting it from Enhanced Athlete also. Um, it's going to be the Rad 140 stacked with S23. Uh, Clomid is the PCT that I'm going to be testing. Um, so I'm going to be logging that. Um, none of this is advice or medical advice for anybody. Um, this is just a log of uh, research testing um, that I'm doing. Uh, for anybody, for informational purposes, for people to learn, um, and for people to see, I am just a normal guy. I'm not a competition bodybuilder. I'm not an uh, extreme weightlifter. I used to do MMA. I used to fight uh, professionally, and I got crazy out of shape. Uh, I got a family with kids, so anybody who understands what that's like, you know, it's hard to get a weightlifting regimen in while taking care of a family and working. Uh, uh, I dieting, working out, and I'm working out between half an hour and, 40, uh, and an hour a day, uh, tops. And so, um, just kind of putting my, my experience out there for, you know, kind of normal guys. Uh, more place, more dates. If you ever see this, I want to get bigger shoulders. I do shoulders at least three times a week. And I know you, it, uh, in your video you're saying part of it is genetics, but dang, you got some shoulders. And I'm jealous. Now, that's one of my weakest areas. I work out shoulders like crazy. Um, I, I have a larger chest and I don't really do chest. Or I mean, I, I do do chest. I, I did chest for a whole year. Um, kind of like how, who was it? Oh, I can't remember the guy's name, but he did biceps for like a whole year. And I did chest for a whole year to get my chest bigger, and now um, I just maintain it. I do chest uh, twice a week, maybe you know four to eight sets. Um, that's more of a warm up now, but I just maintain. But I do shoulders like crazy, and they grow very slowly, and I find that my gains die off really quickly. So if anybody got comments or recommendations to blasting shoulders because lately I've been doing shoulders so much that when I'm done lifting 
I get muscle spasms, like they just twitch uncontrollably when I'm just sitting down watching TV. And I, I drink just water, um, I eat clean, like oh, I go on my fitness pal and um, I segregate all of my food and make sure that I'm getting my fats, healthy fats. I don't eat sugar at all. Um, this, I think this is the longest I've eaten clean ever. Um, but I don't know, my shoulders just seem to grow really slowly. So if anybody got any tips, um, it'd be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, keep posted. Um, this coming January, I'm going to be uh, stacking RAD 140 and S23 for research purposes, um, not for human consumption. So, all right.